Hi guys, Alice Snake here, or Dynasty Snake, how's it all going? Yes, and hello and welcome to this. What is this? Fracture? Hardpoint domination? Who's combining game modes from two different games, or the same game from Black Ops 2 and every other Call of Duty? Uh, this is most certainly not Call of Duty, it is indeed Titanfall, and I have been ever so lucky to have an awesome friend named Zors to hand me the Titanfall beta key. So, he is awesome. But uh, if you have Xbox One now and you're watching this, um, yes, go fucking download it because it's now out for everyone. So um, the whole beta key thing was silly and everything. So yes, um, as again, I'm saying that we're watching Titanfall gameplay. So this is my gameplay. Um, it's an alright gameplay, I guess. Um, it's a lot of uh, pilot kills and uh, an okay amount of deaths, I guess. So. Uh, I thought it was a suitable gameplay to show off how fucking awesome this game is and I thought I'd uh, use this gameplay to sort of show you and tell you what my um, thoughts of it are. So um, as you can see I'm sort of wall running up here and it's basically like an amazing first person shooter Assassin's Creed just like Assassin's Creed just for the fact of the wall running and just being able to get anywhere pretty much. and my honest opinion, I don't know again if it's just because I've been absolutely burnt out from every other fucking game but um, this game is phenomenal it plays so well um, I don't know if it's just incredibly balanced for the fact that again it's only got a limited amount of weapons, there's only one assault rifle, one submachine gun um, the smart pistol, which I'll get onto about later and um, a sniper rifle as far as I'm aware and then you've got your pistols and your anti-titan weapons um, so I don't know how the fuck he killed me then, but uh, he killed me. <laughs> so I mean, you get your fair op uh, fair moments in this where you feel like, oh, I'll fucking shot him first. But uh, I mean, that's that's the trope of uh, any sort of peer to peer peer to peer hosting on games now. So uh, what are you gonna do? So um, uh, as far as I'm aware, I'm using the R101C carbine assault rifle, which is the only assault rifle available in the game. Uh, with the HCOG, so it's the holographic COG site or whatever it is. Um, so from every other pretty much gameplay or every other gameplay you've pretty much seen, um, it's always using that site, which is probably the best site which they've got available at the moment. I'm not sure if there's something like a red dot site which they'll bring out, which is similar. But um, yes, that is the only thing that knowingly is out, apart from like some other scopes which are I'm not too fond of. Um, so as you can see, I just called him my Titan. Um, basically, with the uh, there's actually a really good idea with the bots for the use of the bots being in the game. So uh, for those who don't know, it Titanfall is a six v six multiplayer game. Um, you can't have any more players than six v six as far as we are aware at the present time. They might bring out in a later patch uh, to probably bring out a bit more pilots because um, uh, you just don't seem to run into a lot of human players to be fair. But um, the bots are most certainly necessary to keep the flow of the game and it does keep it quite fun. So um, yeah, the bots are incredibly necessary in the game because um, they actually help towards earning your titan. So I don't know if you might see this but just beside, or just in the lower left hand corner of the uh, reticle in the middle, um, it says like, oh, minus 16 seconds or something like that. And um, in the bottom right hand corner where you see the timer of 1 minute 13 or something now, um, it actually decreases the time. So, uh, for instance, I think if you kill a human player, I think that um, reduces the time by like 30 seconds. So, basically, everything has an effect on getting your Titan earlier. And you can get it even more earlier um, if you were to use a burn card. Um, so, yes. Um, just to come back to what the smart pistol is, um, some people might sound might think this sounds overpowered, which really it isn't, because um, it's just it's not very good against human a uh, human players, but it's really good against the AI players. Um, the smart pistol is basically a lock-on pistol, so you don't even have to aim; you literally just have to get people in the in your sight, and it locks on, and you just have to pull the trigger and it kills people. Um, so as far as I'm aware, the way it works, it's one shot for the grunts, which is like the most this person on the earth to play in this game. Um, I don't think anyone's knowingly been killed by a grunt. But um, then you have your Spectre, which is a bit more of an intelligent um, player, and uh, they actually can do a fair bit of damage against you as well as your Titans. 
Um, I think they take two shots. And then you have your human players, which you have six on in each team, uh, which take three shots. And it does take a while for it to sort of uh, lock on, because uh, it needs to do it per shot, so it's always like boop, boop, boop. And then you pull the trigger and it um, it goes and kills them. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's, the range is very limited, so it's not really that overpowered, but it's a really really unique weapon so um i mean some people would be really good at using it and like um need to be really sneaky i can imagine people putting suppressors on it and being incredibly sneaky and just coming up behind you and popping the shit out of you so so yes and um overall the gameplay it's just like it's so balanced it again i'll probably argue the fact that it is because it's very limited weapons altogether but um the titans they're easy enough to kill, um, even against one another, as well as there being a human person against a titan. Um, you're never, never not going to be... Um, well, you are going to be outgunned, pretty much, but um, if you're trying to take them down, at least you have a good chance of actually destroying the titan itself. So, I mean, like that, I just saw someone, I mowed him down with the chain gun, but... Um, if you were to use a, like, I quite like using the Sidewinder as far as I'm aware it's called, uh, which is like an automatic 25 shot uh, grenade launcher. Um, pretty terrible against um, human players. Um, I think it takes a whole mag to pretty much kill them, unless I'm just terrible at aiming. But um, other than that, um, it just it destroys Titans and uh, the fact that you can just literally, uh, what they call in Titanfall, it's rodeoing. Uh, if you were to jump on the back of a titan, um, you literally just unplug this um, bit from the back of the titan's head and you shoot its claws out and it fucking um, destroys it completely. <laughs> and uh, it's just it's just so clever and it's just so fresh and new and it's such, it's such fun, much wow. So, um, I would strongly urge anyone on 360 to get this because uh, not the fact that it's going to be lesser quality, like uh, using old hardware, but the overall sort of uh, bones and stuff building the game. It's just, it's fantastic. It's so well done, and I just hope it's got a lot more variety in the future when it is actually released. Um, more weapons, that would be ideal, and hopefully, plenty and plenty of maps. Because um, as long as these are the uh, these are the same people who are um, who did make Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2, and the map um, design was really good in those games, and I can't knowingly fault them, and um, and a lot of variety as well. So um, it's probably not unknown for them to bring out more map packs in the future. So that'll be cool. And um, yeah, the game modes. Um, not very many game modes, so it's free on the beta at the moment, which is Attrition, which basically is a new name for Team Deathmatch, but um, it's a bit different really, the fact that um, depending on who you kill, it adds points, so I think the Grunts, the lowest form of sustenance in the game, uh, the really weak people, uh, they earn like at one point, and then two for the Spectres, and then I think it might be like five or ten points for the the human AI, uh, I keep saying human AI, I don't want to say that, but the human players um, earn the most points to being um, towards the attrition goal, so um, yeah, overall I'm enjoying this and again I want to thank Saws for being an absolute awesome person for just thinking of me and like saying, yep, yeah, man I've got a code, do you want it? And He's helped me get it early, so um, fortunately now everyone can get it for free um, via the Xbox One. Uh, as far as I'm aware, PC still needs a beta key. But, um, yes, by all means, if you can get your hands on it, do it. It is, it is worth playing, it's fun, it's fresh, and I can't praise it enough at the moment. So I... I, I so so wish that when I was at Eurogamer that I had a chance to get hands on with this beforehand because I just love to rub it in everyone's face saying that I played it back in September but um it is phenomenal it is absolutely phenomenal so I fucked up there so um as you can see um I'm playing this game like a uh, Elmac and uh I needed some prosthetic legs but um Yes. Oh, oh, I completely forgot about burn cards. Uh, burn cards, in a sense, is kind of like a death streak. 
but you don't earn them. Um, well, you do earn the burn cards, but um, basically they're a one-off thing. Uh, once you use a burn card, that is it. You cannot use it whatsoever. Uh, again, unless you have the same burn card. So literally, as soon as you use it, it's burnt out. So um, it's quite cool, uh, quite a cool idea. And um, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing which he actually sort of um, increasing the health of a pilot. So um, if anything, it's just sort of giving a buff to the weapon itself. And as you can see from there, we've entered the epilogue stage, and I fucking died to a quad rocket titan. So that is the end of the game, pretty much now, because uh, once the epilogue starts, it literally a sudden death if you die that's it you don't escape and uh... yeah I had a bit of fun looking inside someone's head looking at those beautiful eye, eye mechanics and stuff <laughs> so um... yeah I mean that's the end I mean we lost I was very uh... on objective playing but uh, I had so much fun this game is amazing as you can tell I keep talking about it <laughs> so um... without a doubt more Titanfall gameplay going to come to my channel um, in the future when it's actually out. Um, I think a lot of the beta stuff is a bit old to watch now, but I thought I'd give you my two cents on it all, so um, I hope you enjoyed. I've been Snake. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Din underscore Snake, and I shall see you all later. Take care.